first thing we need to do is go to server manager and install the Windows Server Backup program. We want to add a feature. All right, so in here we should see the Windows Server Backup features. We want to choose both of them, so we'll just check the first one, Windows Server Backup features, and check also the command line tools. I don't know why I didn't check. It says, hey, if you want to add this, you're also going to need to add the Windows PowerShell feature. Go ahead, add those additional features. So now we have Windows Server Backup features in the command line tools. Right next. <coughs> and okay, after your features have been installed, we're going to close this. We're going to take a look at the actual GUI command line tools. And we get there by selecting Start Administrator Tools. And we should see Windows Server Backup. First backup we're going to do is we're going to do a backup of our data volume. Just do a simple backup of that, see how that works, and then we'll delete a couple folders and then restore them. The next thing we're going to do is do a full system backup, and then uh, we'll do a whole recovery. <laughs> okay, so up in the action menu, we're going to select backup once. And we're going to make sure it has different options to select it. And next. And we want to do a custom. And next. And we want to uncheck the C drive. Oh, we have to uncheck the system recovery. Uncheck system recovery. All right, so now we want just the E drive. We want the entire data volume. That's why it's nice to separate out your data and where things are stored in separate volumes. One thing you do not want to do is store your data on the C drive or your system folder uh, for a couple reasons. One, you can't expand your system volume if it runs out of space. And two, it makes for an easy location and restore uh, when you're doing backups and recoveries and so forth. All right, so back up the entire E volume, hit next. Choose the type of storage for the backup. Okay, so we're going to do a local drive. So we're going to back it up to another drive letter. And backup destination, we be good. And next. Okay, choose what type of volume shadow copy service backup you want to create. A VSS copy backup or a VSS full backup. This option if you're not using any other backup product to back up your applications. This means like another third party backup program like Symantec, uh, Backup Exec, things like that. So we want to do the full backup. That way it'll actually clear the um, archive bit for the attribute, the archive attribute. Hit next and all we have to do is hit backup. We should see it. There it goes. Now the benefit of the volume shadow copies is because it will back up files that are open by users. In the past, backup programs would get locked up or would skip files that were open by users. Like if somebody stayed logged in and they had their Word document open all night long, the volume shadow copy will be able to still back up that file, even yeah, though they have it open. The old one. And the other ones, you'd skip it. You'd go um, 476 errors, and you'd look, and it'd be like file open, and it would list all 476 files that were open that didn't get backed up. So that would be, not be good. So backup complete, right? It wasn't too bad. Hit close. Let's explore the uh, backup volume and see what we have there. Here it is Windows Image Backup. Go in there, Halverson and await, and there's my, the catalog is the list of files that were backed up, okay, there are text files that are used by the backup program, and then here's the actual backup, and again, there are XML files, oops, come on here, stop messing around, when I 
text panel is. So XML files, and here's the actual backup file. Virtual hard disk, that's right. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around with any of these backup files. I just wanted to show them, show you where they're at, okay? So we're gonna leave them put, and obviously the next day and time will be recorded and we'll have multiple backups located here. All right, we're gonna close this. Now let's go and delete, because we had a major catastrophe. Uh, we are going to now delete our data volume. Let's delete the stuff on here. It won't let us delete some stuff. There we go. So all the files have been deleted. Our users are freaking out because they don't have access to their data. So now let's restore it. So now we want to do recover. We can choose recover from the action pane over here or from up here. So select recover. We're only gonna be able to recover from one backup job. So we're gonna cover to this server. Available backups, the one that was done today at 9.49. So here you could choose previous dates. So if you had previous backups done earlier in the month and so forth, hit next. What do you want to recover, files and folders, or the entire volume? Well, we can do the entire volume. If you chose files and folders, you can browse and, and choose specific files that you wanted to restore, specific folders. So that way, you're not having to restore the entire volume and replace folders of people that are like, I'm fine, my stuff is there. You're just restoring folders of people that had things deleted or removed by accident. So for this example, we'll just restore the entire volume and the entire data volume. Go to your destination. <coughs> We're gonna put it back on the data volume. And next. Make sure you wanna recover. And then recover. That should be restoring those files. And if we go take a look at our computer, the E-Drive, we should start seeing folders show up on the E-Drive. Oh, it's not accessible, because it's essentially Formatting the volume and rewriting the bits back how they were when they did the backup. It's complete. Now let's take a look at it. Yay, all of our files are there. Backup worked. All right. What was that? So that was a backup and a recovery. Now let's do a full system backup. And then we're going to do a recovery of our entire system. So we're going to go action, back up once. Different option. So let's do custom. And then we're going to choose the C and the D drive. We don't have to, we're not going to worry about the uh, BSS. So C and E drive. C and E drive, yep. The local disk and your data volume. And we're going to make sure that this is checked, the system recovery, which will back up the system state. We're going to choose the G drive. And we're going to do a full backup. Okay, now that our backup is complete, <laughs> going to hit close. We should check to see if that's out there first. And let's take a look at the uh, backup drive. It looks like it only has four gigs of free space, so there's obviously some big backup out there. six gigabyte virtual hard disk file. Okay, so we have it backed up. So now let's shut our computer down. Destroy it. We are now going to, since this is running a virtual machine, we're now going to 
we're not going to necessarily delete our virtual hard disk. We're just going to create another one and then rename the old one. So now that that is shut down, yeah, so I have a 30 gigabyte hard disk. So that's what I have to create. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore my D drive. And I store these under Halverson, Win 2K. And I have Windows Server right here. This is my first disk. So I'm going to rename these. I'm going to put dead in front of it. So now I'm going to go back to my VMware, edit my virtual machine settings, and in my settings, my first disk, it says it can't find it. So I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to add a, another disk, a new virtual disk, SCSI, and make this 30 gig. And I'm just going to put dash new, so I know that this is the new file. Hit finish. So now we have our new disk back in there. I hit OK. <coughs> and I want to make sure that my CD drive is using the Windows 2000 Server 2008 ISO file. And <coughs> so it should boot off the CD. This is loading files. So I need to click inside of the window. Hit next. And we want to do repair your computer. Don't operate system repair and click <coughs> next. We don't have one. We want to do the Windows complete PC restore. Okay, so it found, it says use the latest backup from the F drive, right? That's where we had a backed up computer and the time. So we hit next. So check the restore system disks. Hit next. It's ready to restore your computer. Hit finish. I confirm that I want to format the disks. sit and watch it restore. So my backup is almost done. So my restore is almost done. Now so I can restore the computer. My server is coming back up. Make sure we restored. Should we do the same? Couple C drives restored, and my E drive is all there.